Actually, taking this camera in the car before, so I'm just uh, going to find a angle here. Oh well. Anyways, fuck, it's going to get hot in here. Um, I thought it would be fitting to start a vlog here. It's uh, it's Friday night. It's about five o'clock at night, and I've got work at seven. That's why you don't put it there. Oh my god. So. Alright, so I got work at 7, I worked last night, two night shifts in a row this time, not too many. Um, tonight we're working 7 till 7, tomorrow morning, which is half the reason why I'm starting the vlog now, I'm meeting Achilles and his girlfriend and a few others down at the field, the Oval, to do a cardio circuit that they're putting on, and um, they love their cardio circuits and shit like that. I haven't done a huge amount of cardio in a, hu in a long time, like I said and I'm looking forward to it. So it's five o'clock. First thing I'm gonna do is go to town quickly, grab some groceries for the night. Um, diet is on point, it's fucking good. Tomorrow I'll run through my macros, how they've been over the first week because we've got a full week's worth of data to tell you guys. And then, yeah, looking forward to cardio, but uh, also I gotta go to the fucking post office because I have not looked at my post office box for over a month and a half and yeah, when you've got bills that come in each month or each quarter, uh, if you leave it that long, there's definitely going to be at least one or two. So we'll go and check that, see what the damage is, and I'll see you guys back here. So uh, recently, guys, as far as pre-workouts and as far as caffe caffeinated beverages go, um, I've been laying off the monster and I've been having two supplements. One is called Utopia, which you may have seen me have before. And that is a, uh, it's a, it's a mental focus supplement, but it also has 200 milligrams of caffeine per serve. So if I have a scoop like I am now, it definitely gives me a good buzz for a few hours, keeps me going. And you know, anything over 200 grams, 200 milligrams of caffeine per serve is probably a little bit too much for me. Uh, especially if I want to have, you know, up to three serves of caffeine per day. If I'm going to have any more than 200 grams per serve, that's going to amount to 600, 700, even 800 milligrams of caffeine in a day, and that's way too much. I think, I think maximum safely, you know, you're still able to have the effects from it, but you're still able to sleep at night. I think maximum 500 milligrams of caffeine per day. With that said, we've got 200 in here, and the other supplement I'm using is Amino Energy, which is a combination of amino acids and caffeine, which tastes really nice. So, yeah, just thought I'd add that in there. Um, coffee, first thing in the morning, sometimes, when I'm running late and I don't take my supplements to work, but uh, usually it's amino energy and watermelon flavor, or utopia in mango flavor. Major key. And of course, especially, especially now that I'm dieting, 
caffeine is going to be utilized uh, more effectively to you know blunt my appetite on purpose this time you know I, I was complaining about how caffeine was blunting my appetite uh, when I was trying to bulk and you know it's so funny how your mindset can change just like that because um, you know now that I've decided wholeheartedly that I'm cutting um, I will use caffeine for that particular reason as a as an appetite suppressant so it's fucked up isn't it <laughs> you know anyways that was a little bit of uh, chat to bide the time while I drive to town so thanks for that guys I'll see you in the next clip what the hell just happened to my camera just then what is going on what is wrong with the exposure so it's fucking it's it's like it's um going all bright all of a sudden I don't know what what's going on I, I have to watch some YouTube videos I, I haven't even watched one tutorial on this camera I've just picked it up and started playing with it so I really should do that shouldn't I probably What do you reckon, guys? It's not looking good. All right. Not a bill. Cool. Westpac. Credit card statement. Credit card statement. What's this? That is the fine that I paid. What is this? I hate the letters that are that are marked like blankly because it's it's always something bad isn't it it's fucking someone trying to get money off you something the annual general meeting for my Gold Coast property body corporate will be held soon won't be able to go doesn't matter I'm sure they'll be looking after it Medibank my premium is changing. I'm paying more as of next month. Oh, thanks, guys. Um, holy shit. Body corporate shit. At least it's not fees yet. Renewing my landlord's insurance on my property on the Gold Coast. That is fine. Cool. Keep, keep paying that. Oh my god, what the, how many freaking letters is there? Oops. Here we go, here's a bill. Body corporate fees for the Gold Coast. Fuck. I gotta get on to them about that. I paid my body corporate fees on time, which gives you a 20% discount. And um, they're telling me I haven't, so they've put it onto my next bill, which is not correct. So I'll have to get on to them about that. Credit card statement, <sighs> boring. Yes, I have three credit cards, guys. All right, it's the only, ra it's the only way I'm living right now. Westpac. Boring. I might actually have a package, that's quite exciting. Student loan. Student loan. Yes, I still owe the New Zealand government money for my degree I never got. Ah, right. New credit card. Fantastic. Replacement, not a new one. I lost the old one. Yeah, about three weeks ago I replaced all of my Westpac cards because those are the ones I use on a daily basis and they were pretty fucked up from the sun and sun damage and shit so cool three new cards that is good I'm gonna have to ring this body corporate thing that's bullshit turn this car on I have to ring these guys now. 
or else it's going to play on my mind and we can't have that. I don't think they're going to answer. But anyways, that's the damage guys. Hate it. Yeah, hi there. Um, my name's Jacob. I'm just ringing up about uh, some body corporate fees that I paid on time. Um, but it seems like on this next statement that you guys have sent me, it's saying that I didn't get on time, so the 20% discount has been put back onto my account, which I can't really understand. So it was tight, but I did get the payment in on, on time. Um, so if you call me back, 044 Dix, and we can sort this out, because um, I'm about to pay the next one. And uh, I just uh, need the statement to be correct. So thank you. Bye. See what happens. Alright guys, we're back home, just getting ready to go to work, um, I don't have long but what I thought I'd show you just before I left was the grocery haul that I got, so for less than $30 I got all this stuff, it's all pretty much protein based, which is you know how my diet is based right now, um, minimal carbs, minimal fats where I can help it, and throughout the night at work when I'm not training I don't really need to you know, take in too many carbs, the, these foods are going to be perfect. So, they're also foods that I've used, you know, all throughout the, um, all throughout cutting in the past, also bulking. And um, the first thing I got was egg whites. So, I'll go with frozen or fresh, it really doesn't matter. Um, frozen egg whites take longer to defrost. That's honestly the only reason why I didn't get them this time, because I want to use them first thing in the morning for a shake. I'm not going to use them tonight, but I'm going to put them in the fridge for later. So as well as that, we got another protein source, which is Greek yogurt, Chobani Greek yogurt. Now, if you're looking for a Greek yogurt that tastes like Greek yogurt and the macros are amazing, uh, this is definitely going to have to be the one for you. I've looked at every single Greek yogurt. Chobani is the highest in protein, the lowest in fat, and the lowest in carbs. You know, it tastes like shit by itself, but if you mix it with something like a protein powder that you really enjoy, I mean, it's like a dessert for next to no carbs, no fat, and, you know, high protein. So, that is a, uh, that's a, a, um, that's a snack that I use often, and it's one I'm going to use tonight. So, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take a couple of uh, scoops of protein powder, and that will be a snack. Not the whole, not the whole container of Greek yogurt, probably like half of it or something. Um, we've got some berries, which I've bought two packets of. Mixed berries I'll use as a really low calorie snack by itself, or I'll add them into shakes to give it a you know frozen consistency and add to the flavor. Tonight I'm going to take them as a snack by themselves. In fact, I might even combine the two. So, as well as that, we've got uh, tuna. So tuna is a really easy protein source that I've been using lately, especially in this first week of cutting. It's so easy for me in the morning or whenever to just grab a few tins of tuna, chuck it in my bag and go. You know you've got, you know you've got a protein source there. The only thing you need to watch is the added macros as far as what source it's in or what flavor it's in. So my favorite one would have to be sweet chili tuna, but you do pay for it in the macros. So each serve has 156 calories. 16.1 grams of protein, 5.3 grams of fat, and 10.9 grams of carbs. Now, yes it tastes great, but it's got high carb and relatively high fat. You take this one for example, Mexican, you're gonna, you're gonna focus man, you're gonna focus, come on. Mexican flavor, and you know, same size tin, the Mexican one has less than half the calories of this one. What flavor it is definitely uh, is going to determine how healthy or you know how fatty or how many calories it has. So um, with my so with my experienced opinion, guys, I want to give you guys my favorite, best tasting, lowest calorie option. 
of tuna. And that's this one. So we've got a mixture of tuna, you've got tomato, corn, um, kidney beans and capsicum which are all you know really yummy vegetables and they're mixed through it. Calories, 69 calories, 11.3 grams of protein, 0.8 grams of fat and 3.8 grams of carbs. So it's lower in protein but it's way lower in fats and carbs. So if you've got to choose one or the other I would have to say go for this one. I'll have four tins the whole lot together is only going to give me 45 to 50 grams of protein. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take three tins of the, you know, shitty flavored one. Although it does still does taste good, but it doesn't definitely doesn't taste anywhere near as good as this. So I'll taste, I'll take three tins of that, mix it with a tin of this, and overall it'll still be relatively low in carbs and fat. So anyways, taking the tuna, I'm taking the Greek yogurt. We're taking the berries, and I do have some pre-cooked uh, kangaroo balls and lean beef mints, which I thought I was going to take, but honestly I don't think I'm going to need it, so I'm going to leave that here for tomorrow. So I'm going to leave you guys now. Um, thanks for watching once again. Tomorrow morning I'm going to continue the vlog down at the field at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I've been told by Achilles. I've been told by Achilles that is the time we need to meet down at the field, so I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a bright blue sky, it's going to be beautiful, but it's definitely going to heat up quick. So I think after work I'll quickly come home, get changed, and head down to the field. So that's the plan. But for now, I've probably got, how long have I got? 6.23 and we've got to be at work by 7, so I'll chill out for a bit, and I'll see you guys in the morning.